Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Season 4, The Large Herbivorous Dinosaurs. Austin the Pachycephalosaurus, a dinosaur with keen vision, smell, and hearing. Scientific name, Pachycephalosaurus. Period, late Cretaceous. Fossils found in the United States, North America. Description. The Pachycephalosaurus was the largest dinosaur in the Pachycephalosauridae group. It was about six meters long. The top of its head was very thick, like an unusually large dome with spikes around the edges. Dinosaurs were among the most successful animals in evolution largely because of their extraordinary variety. Within dinosaur families, members shared important common features that set them apart from those from other families. Take the Pachycephalosaurids, a family of herbivorous dinosaurs, for example. Their distinguishing feature was the skull with a round dome above the brain. Some members had relatively thin skulls, while others' skulls were about a dozen centimeters thick. Regardless of the thickness, most of them seemed to be wearing helmets. The members of the Pachycephalosauridae family were not giants, and the six-meter-long Pachycephalosaurus was the largest. Austin was an adult male Pachycephalosaurus. Its body was not stout and its neck short. Thanks to its cervical vertebrae, which were tightly connected to each other and firmly wrapped by muscles, the neck was strong. The thick neck helped to disperse collisions when the animal butted heads. Its forelimbs were short but strong, and the claws on the forelimbs may have helped it to dig up food, especially those rooted in the ground. Its hind limbs were twice as long as the forelimbs, slender and strong, and they ran fast. The most noteworthy part of Pachycephalosaurus was its head. The top of Austin's skull was 25 centimeters thick, such a thickness was very rare even in the entire Pachycephalosauridae family. Around the dome-shaped bulge and its cheeks, there were numerous densely packed small bony knobs and spikes. These decorations of knobs and spikes were complex because they varied according to the Pachycephalosaurus's gender and age. For example, the males probably had sharper ones, while the females had smooth ones. The younger the Pachycephalosaurus, the more inconspicuous the spikes were. Furthermore, if two Pachycephalosaurus lived in different areas, their domed skulls could have different shapes. The dome of the Pachycephalosaurus was less strong than it looked. When it engaged in fighting, it usually did not ram its head into the opponent. The dome was full of blood vessels, hence, Researchers speculate that the skull probably regulated the Pachycephalosaurus's body temperature. Since it couldn't use the head as a weapon, what would the somewhat small Pachycephalosaurus do if it found itself in danger? The Pachycephalosaurus did have many ways to foresee danger. It had good vision and would notice anything unusual. Its hearing was keen enough to discern subtle sounds, and its sense of smell was also sensitive. Researchers have scanned its skull and found that there was enough space there to accommodate a large olfactory leaf, which means that its sense of smell was well developed. And all these sensory advantages allowed the Pachycephalosaurus to survive the fierce competition. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yong Yong and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantastic journey. <laughs>